both of our societies in the U.S. and the U.K. are facing an epidemic of inflammatory conditions. Coronary artery disease, cardiovascular disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, depression, autoimmune diseases. These are all chronic inflammatory conditions. Mm -hmm. And our gut, the, the part of our body that is like the key piece is the gut barrier. It's a single layer of cells that is so small that we wouldn't be able to see it with the naked eye. We would need a microscope. Mm -hmm. And this single layer of cells separates 38 trillion microbes inside the tube of our intestine from on the other side, inside of our body, 70% of our immune system. And when something breaches this gut barrier, it activates the immune system. And that's what inflammation is. Inflammation mm -hmm. is the activation of your immune system. It's a good thing when it's fighting an infection. It's a mm -hmm. good thing when it's helping us to uh, overcome bodily injury. It's a bad thing when it's just breakdown of the gut barrier because of our diet and lifestyle. And as a result of that breakdown, it's creating chronic inflammation that has these systemic effects. And so having more plants within our diet, so let's go back to this short chain fatty acids, you know, and the anti-inflammatory properties. How can this really help support that healthy gut bar barrier? So if we think about um, the way in which our gut barrier regulates itself, because it's it, it is it is constantly um, revising itself. So every four to six days, you will have a brand new layer of cells inside your gut. Wow. Yeah, very quick. So how does it actually do this? Well, so there's a number of things. Number one, short-chain fatty acids rebalance the gut microbiome. So we will actually support the healthy bacteria. We will get more of the bacteria that actually produce short-chain fatty acids. So you start to get yourself where you're building like a snowball, you're building momentum because you can consume the same amount of fiber, but you can get more out of that fiber as you get more of these bacteria. Number two, they will suppress the bacteria that actually are creating inflammation. So we're talking about things like salmonella and shigella and E. coli, mm -hmm. and they are all suppressed by short chain fatty acids. So basically what I've, what I've just argued is that within your microbiome, short chain fatty acids have the ability to recalibrate and to move you away from dysbiosis and back towards a better balance. That's the microbiome. But then when we talk about your gut barrier, part of the reason mm -hmm. why the gut barrier breaks down is when there's an inadequate supply of the short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids actually help us to create the proteins that seal the barrier and keep the cells together so that these things like, for example, bacterial endotoxin that comes from those inflammatory bacteria, mm -hmm. bacterial endotoxin cannot cross into the bloodstream, cannot come into contact with the immune system if the gut barrier is intact. And the way that we get the gut barrier intact is actually by fueling it with short chain fatty acids, specifically butyrate. Clear glowing skin is something many of us crave. I know I certainly do. And we're always looking for the next cream, serum or toner to get that fresh face look. But one thing we know for sure is that it's not just what we put on our skin, but it's what we put into our body that has the real impact. That means, yes, you guessed it, good skin always starts with our gut. This is something I passionately believe in because so many elements of our overall well-being actually start in the gut. There is an amazing new regime that I've been using, the first of its kind in fact, that combines these two elements. Bringing together skincare and a supplement routine is a revolutionary step. This was created with the support of Professor Glenn Gibson, who has the most cited nutritional science paper ever written and coined the term prebiotic. The regime includes four hero products and it couldn't be easier a day pill, a day cream, a night pill, and a night cream. And it doesn't just support our skin health. It's even been shown to help support improve sleep, energy, mood, and focus. So you've got two options if you want to give this a go. The Regime is a one-time purchase, 
such good value because it's like getting the supplements for free. Or you can join the You're Looking Well Club where each quarter you'll get a 90 day supply of supplements and cream. But it's not just these products because there's plenty of other benefits such as free facials, yoga classes, Pilates classes, member only events and access to a confidential dietitian mailbox. Head to YLWclub Dot com to upgrade your skincare regime now. Try today and get the first week on us using the code LIVEWELL25 at checkout. 30 day money back guarantee. I'm so pleased we're talking about this because I honestly believe this is one of the most under discussed areas as well. And I'm just thinking, as we're going into autumn, people are already probably thinking, oh, I want to start fighting the lurgy. You've already just mentioned about the immune system, 70% being made within the gut. So people who are listening to our conversation to now, who might have been having some thoughts around, maybe I've got some dysbiosis, or maybe I do have some of these symptoms, starting to include these fibre-rich foods, which help to curate these short-chain fatty acids, is such an amazing start. Because all of this had such a bigger effect on your health, you know, as you said, the gut lining, but the butyr, everything. So actually, it's one of the first steps that we can all be taking. Because a lot of the times we hear about this plant-based food, right? Many of us don't truly know why or how it's working at that kind of like cellular level. And that's really kind of the main thing that you can actually start changing this quite quickly. I have a favor to ask. 74% of people that watch this podcast haven't hit subscribe and 15% haven't hit the bell to turn on notifications. I want this podcast to reach as many people as possible to keep sharing expert information and powerful stories to improve your life. So if you've ever enjoyed my podcast, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Doing this small favor will really help me. Thank you. Sarah, you can change this literally in less than 24 hours. So it's four to six days for your gut barrier, these, the, these cells lining your intestines for them to basically create new ones. But in terms of creating new microbes, creating new bacteria, reshaping the microbiome, they actually are re turning over. Like literally, you could start with one bacteria and 24 hours later, it could have a thousand offspring. That's wow. how quickly they are procreating. And we get to choose. This is the important point is that we get to choose. We don't think about this necessarily when we're, you know, um, consuming some ice cream or something like this. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't necessarily think about this. But the choices that we make in our overall dietary pattern ultimately are selecting for the types of bacteria that we're going to have in our microbiome. And whatever it is that you eat, the evidence is clear. Within 24 hours of it hitting your colon, which is where these microbes live, within 24 hours, they will be categorically different as a result of your diet. So the food that you eat today by tomorrow, it's already going to start to change. That just, I hope, gives a lot of people a lot of confidence that they can actually empower their health quite quickly from doing these things. 100%. And the other thing that I think is really important to relate to all the listeners is that this is not about some idealized dietary pattern that frankly, none of us are gonna be able to get to, including myself, right? Like so I eat ice cream sometimes. That. Yeah, I eat ice cream sometimes. I'm not here to tell you that you can never have ice cream, but what it is, is it's about making these small choices, right? So every mm. single meal, every single snack is an opportunity to make small choices that start to build momentum. And when you build this momentum, and it's a sustainable dietary pattern. This is why I think this is like the most underrated part of, of our choices is like, mm. let's do something we can actually stick with as opposed to something that we're going to do for three weeks or four weeks and then quit. As you build this momentum, these small choices, they start to build up over time. And as long as you...